Good morning, we are up bright and early. Got up at 3.45, headed to Hawaii. <laughs> no worries, he's just had that cough for months. Uh, headed to Hawaii this morning, we're super excited. This is our third time to a Hawaiian island. We're going to Oahu, which is mine and the kids' second time. It will be Dominic's first time in Oahu, so we're super excited. Explore the island. So since in this video we're going to be showing you how to do Hawaii for as cheap as possible, maybe under a thousand dollars, we'll see. Um, we wanted to share what we do. So we do drop our car off in like the parking lot at the airport. Of course you could save money on that um, by just having family or friends drop you off, but this was only $77 with tax. So not too bad. It's just easier for us with we all fit and we had to drop off our dog which is an additional fee if you have a pet and have to have your dog watched. If you don't have family or friends that can watch it for free, we paid $320 for our dog to be watched. But again, if you have somebody who can watch them for free, then you don't have to count that expense. I don't know about you guys, but once you drop off your, Ari, this way. Once you drop off your luggage, it's like you're a free person. You just have your carry on. No car seat, no bag, it's so much easier. So we made it to our gate nice and early. Our plane takes off at 9.05 and it's 7.30. So, just wanna make sure we had enough time to get here, get settled. Yeah. Oh, and a couple things to mention is, this is our first time flying with the Southwest Companion Pass, um, which has kind of been weird for me because you can't check them in at the same time as you. So I had to go check in me and my son, and then I had to go out and check in my daughter separately because she's my companion. Yeah, I packed the candy. Um, in addition to that, with the boarding pass, I cannot for the life of me find the Companion Pass boarding pass on the app. So whenever we checked in our bags, I did choose to print the boarding pass, which worked. I was able to pull up her confirmation number, which is separate than ours, um, and print the boarding pass and did it that way. But I'm sure there's gotta be a way to find the boarding pass easily through the app. It just didn't, I just couldn't find it yet. So, are you excited? Yeah. You haven't been on an airplane for, well, since last September. Mm -hmm. Where did you go to You mean Hawaii? Mm -hmm. What you call it? <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> for our family of four, we only paid around $45 total and 40,000 points per person, minus my daughter who flew free as a companion. So if you were looking for ways to fly to Hawaii for nearly free, you should definitely look into credit cards for points and miles as this was a big reason why we were able to take this trip. I'm definitely not a points and miles guru, but I do highly suggest to check out Fair Drop, the Travel Mom Squad, and 10 Time Travel Insiders for all their tips and tricks on credit cards and trying to work the points and miles game. This is just in the middle of the airport, little garden area. That's our it's hotel. pretty. No, it's not our hotel. We finally made it to our hotel. We are staying at the Hyatt Place, Waikiki, downtown. It's really busy. We should go look in there. Do a quick room tour before we head out. So just your basic Hyatt room. We stayed a lot of Hyatt, so. <laughs> Everybody's tired from our travel day. Thank you. All right, so it is our first time in the city of Honolulu. Me and the kids have been to Oahu before, but we just stayed at the Disney Resort last time, so we did not get to go explore the island. And this is Dominic's first time here. So we are gonna go over to the beach because the Hyatt we're staying at is only a couple, not even like a block, 
Maybe it's like a block it's away? It's like a block away. It's not far. We're gonna walk over to the beach. Stop, nobody wants to see that. Mm. We're gonna walk over to the beach, check that out, and then see what yummy food we can find for dinner in the area. Oh, talk about the parking. Oh yeah, so if you guys come to the Hyatt, the Hyatt Waikiki, because there are three different Hyatts here in the area. The Hyatt Place Waikiki is, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Valet. Valet only. So there's no parking, but they don't make that very clear. So just as a heads up, don't go back in the sketchy parking lot behind the building because you will almost get stuck and yeah, just go, just go valet. Okay, let's go family. We're well, dragging butt because it's a, a big time difference and it's late and it's been a long day. My Ritz crispy. They put me in the shit. Are you ready to go? See the water? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. Okay, so there's the hotel. We can already see. We just, right down there, will be the ocean. So just a quick walk. Also, just as like a, a baby. another side note is the Hyatt has all sorts of beach stuff you can use um, to take down to the beach. So they said boogie board, beach toys, um, and beach towels and beach chairs. So that's pretty cool that you can use that. That way you don't have to bring stuff like we did. We already brought our own towels and circle and sand stuff, but we also plan on doing a lot of stuff at other beaches further away from the hotel, not just right here. So still glad that we brought it. Hyatt Place Waikiki was 12,000 points per night and we stayed for a total of four nights. Parking was not included and was $50 per day. Oh, sorry. Oh, because it's right there. It's really busy, but it's gonna try by all these like four hotels, maybe six. I don't know. Here? Look how blue it is. Look at the roof of pineapple in his hands. <laughs> He's just living his best life. Okay, first beach of Oahu trip. Ari, take off your shoes. Let's go feel it. Go ahead. No, it's not cold. It's Hawaii water, it's not cold. Oh, yay! Oh, this is like my sour cream. Okay, it's not that. Very busy beach. We're excited to go out tomorrow. So, here we are. It's 5.30? And we're done for the day. Um, we did go to the beach for like an hour and the kids swam around. And then there were some food trucks on the way back to the hotel. So we just stopped and grabbed like chili dogs. So it cost $36 for four, $37 for like four chili dogs, which is, you know, it's Hawaii. So everything's expensive no matter where we would have went. But that was just the most convenient for us. We're all pretty exhausted, um, and our, the time change is four hours. making a big difference. And I know we're all going to wake up at like four and five in the morning, but we decided that we are just going to listen to our bodies and feeling really tired and run, run down from the day. So <clears throat> we're just going to call it an early night and get some sleep. And then tomorrow, we'll and then wake up before the, the sun, and yeah, and then we're going to go explore the island tomorrow. Good. Get out of the city and see what other cool beaches we can find to snorkel at so we will for sure be taking you guys with us every step of the way and kind of checking in on how much things are costing and then we'll have like a running total of everything um to see where we end up for the week but we will catch you guys in the morning so it looks like at this high they actually have the breakfast outside Ooh, Bubba, they probably have pancakes. Ooh, Bubba. Good morning. So we are just down to breakfast right now before we go out exploring for the day. Um, this is our first full day here on Oahu and we're super excited. Um, another money saving tip is to stay at a hotel that provides free breakfast. So it may not be the most luxurious breakfast, but it is free and it does fill up your belly. So. That's something that we've always done. We always love staying at Hyatt's. Um, 
a benefit for us is we stayed here on point, so we actually didn't pay anything for this stay, which is even better and more of a money-saving tip. We came to Hawaii and don't have to pay for the hotel, so Jada's struggling this morning with her food. There are birds here trying to steal our food, but you know, that happens sometimes. Okay, we found ourselves at the Pearl Harbor Visitor Center. Let's get some history in. <laughs> She's not excited, she just wants to go to the beach, but here we are. So this morning we logged in to try to book the Hanama Bay um, tickets because it's like the only beach you have to pay to get to to do snorkeling and it's supposed to be a really good snorkeling beach but they literally were sold out within <coughs> 15 minutes so they do have walk-up tickets available if you go at like 6 45 in the morning um, we are gonna try to do that on Thursday before we leave if we have enough time before we head to the airport so hopefully that's what we can do because we've heard that place a lot being recommended and we really wanted to check it out so we're just waiting for Dominic to run back to the car because here at the Pearl Harbor Visitor Center, you cannot take even fanny packs. You can't take any bags. So we are just waiting. But you can't take suitcases. No, we can't take nothing. So as soon as Daddy gets back, then we'll head inside and check it out. gonna get on the boat and head out to the memorial site. So I'm not sure if I mentioned before, but it is free to visit. Um, they do charge $7 for parking and there are like tours you can pay for, but they also have audio tours that you can take and just listen as you walk around the entire thing. Um, but we spent only like an hour here. And then now we're going to try to find what beach we want to go to for some snorkeling. So kids are ready. It's already pretty hot this morning. We're ready to go snorkel. Electric beach, there's a hole in the ground. Oh, because all that crumbled. That's crazy. Look at all that. Like all that rock right there. There's people out there. Different tours. I feel like the waves look a little bit more cute. So I came to Electric Beach and I saw it recommended online, but it looks like it's more for advanced snorkeling and scuba divers. There are some boats out here. We did see some dolphins jumping, um, but there is a really strong current and so not a great place for the kiddos. So since we have them and they really wanted to go snorkel, we're gonna go to a beach about 15 minutes down the road. Um, well, the bay, that's better for them. So let's go check that out instead. Okay, so we made it to Polkai Bay Beach Park. Um, a lot less busy. It is kind of, it's on the leeward side of the island and it's not like super crowded here. There do seem to be a lot of like unsheltered people, um, but further down, not necessarily right here in this bay, but this we heard was good for kids just because it is more of a bay with minimal waves for um, the kiddos to swim around. So let's take a look. How's the water? Cold. Cold but fun. So 
we're really enjoying just the fact that there's hardly anybody here at this beach compared to the beach that we went to yesterday by our hotel in <coughs> the Waikiki area. Um, it was just so busy and this is not busy at all. Jada has gone out snorkeling a little bit. She did see a fish and then I'm sure Dominic is going to go out a bit further. Um, so we'll see what else we can see, but hopefully that storm does not blow this way because we don't, we don't want the storm. What do you think? Do you like this beach? Yeah. It's nice, huh? Good swimming. Good swimming. Good swimming. So we'll probably stay here for a little bit, have a snack and maybe run and grab lunch at the local place and then head further up the island just to see what else is up there for the day. Vintage Island. Island Vintage. Island Vintage something. Yeah. Shave ice. So we're excited to taste it. Are you excited to try it? some papaya, strawberries, raspberries, no, just kidding, no raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, granola, yum. A nom nom, a nom nom. walking out here on the main road whatever road this called <laughs> the main road here in Waikiki um, but I think we're about done for the day maybe just grab something to eat on the way back to the hotel and call it a night because we get up pretty early and start our day so what do you think Bubba Are you tired mama yeah mama I'm gonna keep you from eating his dessert Finally found something that you would eat. Drinks. Oh, my picky child. Nutella gelato. <laughs> oh, look at that shipping container ship. She's already on her way back to the hotel, so he saw it and wanted it. Wait, why is there a break in between it? Good morning. It is a rainy start to this Tuesday. Um, we just had breakfast at the hotel again this morning. We did grab some coffee this time from I think a place called Bonian Breeze. I think it's over in a hotel that's pretty close here to the Hyatt so it's pretty good. Got coconut Kona coffee and it's delicious. Um, just like yesterday our plan is just to head out of the city for the day pretty much. We'd like to get out of the city as much as possible and then maybe spend the evenings in the city so we are going to go over to another side of the island and try to find some good snorkeling and swimming spots for the kiddos. What do you want to see today? What do you want to see today? 
Apparently he's feisty today, so. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what do you want to see today? <laughs> While snorkeling, what do you want to see today? Uh, turtles. Sea turtle? Yeah. Maybe shark. So our first stop this morning is going to be Diamond Head State Monument. So I don't think we're going to do the hike, but maybe we're just going to visit and see the views. And then that's it. for Diamond Head you need reservations as a tourist which I'm sure we would have figured that out if we looked into it but we didn't have that on our list of things to do we wanted to go for more of a relaxing vacation instead of a, a hiking vacation although I'm sure you know the views are beautiful I've seen photos and stuff before but so just FYI you need reservations So we are over on the windward side of the island at Lanakai Beach, and we're kind of just waiting for it to stop raining. Fingers crossed that it actually stops raining. Hopefully. So we can do some snorkeling if it stops raining. I mean, we could also snorkel in the rain, but it's just more enjoyable if it's not raining and the sun's out. So it's gonna give it a few minutes and see what it does, but hopefully it clears up. So Lanakai Beach has very limited parking just on the side road here but a lot of the side roads have like signs that say you're not supposed to park there but <laughs> so the sun came out as you can see gotta do a quick wardrobe change in the car and then back to the beach we go Alright. This is supposed to be a good snorkeling spot. Oh, it's cold. It's cold. Ari, come this way. This way. This way. You can't go out far on your own, Bubba. This is the ocean. Is it? I said you can't go out far on your own because this is the ocean. It could I'm carry you out. You gotta stay right by us to be safe. Don't drink the water either. <laughs> so we've been here for coffee over an hour. Now it's starting to get busier. But it's definitely less busy than any beach that you would go to in Waikiki, just for the fact that there's not a lot of parking. Um, so it doesn't really have the option to be busy. We have seen quite a few different fish out on the reef, which is super cool because you can see, like, there's a ton of reef over here, which is why it's probably rated pretty good for snorkeling. Dug herself into a hole. You see all the rain. Once we were done at Lanakai Beach, we headed into a nearby town to grab some food before heading to our next destination. So we're just outside Kualoa, Kualoa Ranch, um, where they filmed a lot of the movies. They have all sorts of things. They have tours, they have UTV rides, they have e-bike things. ATV, 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 so. They have all sorts of things there. We didn't get to book anything this time, but we still wanted to take a drive up here just because the area is super beautiful with all the mountains. Um, so whether or not you're gonna do a tour, I would still recommend taking the drive up here just to see the mountains and how pretty they are. Um, it's still worth it. 
nothing else to do. It's kind of a rainier day, so. Next, we headed to the Valley of the Temples to check out the Buddhist temple. The cost was $5 per adult and $2 per child. of the Bon Show clears the mind of negativity, imparts deep peace, and brings happiness, blessings, and a long life. Through its resonating sound, the bell reminds us that everything is transitory. Alright, you want to go first or ask me? You want to go, Bubba? You want to go first? Go ahead, Bubba. I'm going to do it with you. job. Okay, Jada, let's see it. Yeah, koi fish. This is called the Meditation Pavilion. Check this out. That's cool. Ooh, look at the big koi. So here we have the head of the phoenix. That's the shape of the building. Phoenix, the mythical bird rising from the ashes. The wings of the phoenix extend left and right. That's our office space for Valley of the Temples Memorial Park. And the tail of the phoenix, we don't uh, photograph or record, but I will show you what that is. You can experience. Okay. Yeah. So that was super cool. She gave us a little tour in the back room. It's like the niche area, which they do have available for purchase. Anybody can purchase and then uh, be left there when they pass. So that's kind of cool. And she said it's all religions. Even atheist people have um, wanted to have their final resting place there. So that's pretty cool. Couldn't record back there, but it's beautiful grounds. Jada with her mosquito bite on her forehead. I know. It hurts. This one actually is almost healed. What? We're just wrapping up at the temple. Uh, it started raining again, which is fine. It only took about 30 minutes and we were done anyway, but just headed out and probably head back into Honolulu at this point in the city. I don't know. Nah. We don't know what we're doing yet. Again, as always, we're kind of taking this trip as like a fly by the seat of our pants. <laughs> Whatever. We've seen lots of things, lots of things recommended, but we're kind of just taking it wherever we end up. That's where we end up. We just got to Leonard's, which is apparently a Portuguese bakery. It's extremely popular. And it's very popular on the island. We came to grab some malasadas as the next morning we had a super early morning and we're not able to have breakfast at the hotel, so we figured we could just eat these on the way. And they were so yummy. We are up before the sun this morning. Where are we going? Shark diving. We're going snorkeling in a cage with sharks. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? Are you excited? Yes. All right. We have to drive like an hour and a half to get there. So up bright and early. How do you feel, Ari? Jada? I get motion sick, so I was nervous about that. And then I just have no urge really to want to swim my sharks. So just the kids are going and the husband, not me. 
We booked our shark snorkel experience with the North Shore Shark Adventure over on the north side of the island. It was $315 for three people to do the shark cage snorkel, but booking through Rakuten, there was a 20% cashback reward that is giving us $62 back. So essentially, the experience only cost $253 for three people. Beto, are you excited? Yes. I am too. How excited are you guys? This works. 10 out of 10? <laughs> Alright, this is one of the things you've been wanting to do for a long time, huh? Yeah. Dad, how many sharks do you see on the drum? A lot. A lot? A lot of, a lot of sharks. There are so many. Let's go. I only saw one shark on the drum. You only saw one shark? That's okay. All right, we'll go in soon. Did. We gotta get our snorkels ready. coming out? Yeah. Do you think mom should have done it? Uh, I think I've gotten off this. <laughs> Hi. 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 Hi, my feet. Here, just sit down. Yeah. How was it? Good. Did you see sharks? Yeah, tons. Oh my gosh. How big? Hi. Hi, mom. <laughs> Hi. How was it? I didn't look at them. I was fun. Uh -huh. um, What? Oh my god. There was oh, like legit way. like so many sharks there. <laughs> Alright, so we are here at Turtle Bay, which is just outside of the Turtle Bay Resort. Um, they do have a, like it is public beach access, so you can come and check it out. We just got here, it is an overcast day. It's rained off and on already this morning, so we'll see how long it lasts. Um, but hopefully we're gonna do some snorkeling in the bay and see what we can find. I know that online it says something about turtles, all sorts of different fish, so we'll see. But here's a look at the bay.
So we got done at Turtle Bay and headed back over to where like a lot of the restaurants are. There's a couple different food truck parks that are really good. Um, so I think we're gonna check out, what is this place called? Surf and Salsa? Surf Salsa, yeah. We've heard really good things about it, so we're super excited. Just checking out the menu. Um, we got Ari McDonald's because he's so picky <laughs> and just needs some chicken, I guess. <laughs> so, looks like there's Korean barbecue right there. What else is over there? Something else. And then there was a hamburger food truck right over there, so lots of different options, but it rains all the time. Good. It does rain all it's the time. It's raining, but it's hot. Off top. <laughs> raining but sunny. Yeah. All right, mom. How was it? I got carne asada fries and. Oh, I was going to say Delicious. you're going to record her the fries. Uh, both. <laughs> Those look good. Okay, we just got to the Shark's Cove area. While we're already on the North Shore, we wanted to check out the snorkeling here. Looks like it's just going to be me snorkeling. And then Dominic's trying to get authorization to fly the drone. The kids are kind of pooped out from doing their shark snorkel cage thing. <laughs> and then snorkeling again. Or so. taking a nap and I'm just coming down to take him soon. Okay, I have the camera because my mom's snorkeling and I'm not retired, but I'm just sitting outside the shore and we've already we already saw a turtle. I could see it from above the water. And mom's out there snorkeling. We, our GoPro is in charge, but we're hoping it gets charged here so we can take it in the water because there are a lot of fish. But what the freak is that? Anyway, so, um, yeah, that, that's the update. The waves are really choppy though, so even if our pull is gonna come in the water, I don't think it's because the waves are huge, I'll show you. Big waves. Okay, why did they just stop seeing? They're big, they're really choppy. It's really rocky too. It's more calm out over there, but in here is where a bunch of turtles are, and it's not a shop. All right, so we are able to get Jada ready to snorkel. Let's hope, um, and now the GoPro is charged, so let's hope we can see the turtle, and um, there's been a lot of cool fish, so it's pretty choppy, but we haven't had to go out far. Um, I told Ari it's not best for him to come out here. There are people that have gone out farther, but like, I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> even if it's not yours just pick it up we just cleaned up a whole bunch of trash with some other random guy who was also had the same idea as us um, and the garbage was like 20 feet away like a garbage can and, and it was just like a bunch of food. yeah it was like food it looked Tomatoes, like somebody had a picnic salad. and then just left all their shit like mind-blowing anyway do better clean up after yourselves and clean up after the other people if they can't clean up after themselves. Now we're gonna head back to Honolulu. <laughs> For our last night in Honolulu, we actually switched over to the Hyatt Centric, which was just a couple of blocks away. We were able to book this Hyatt for 20,000 points per night, and then we did still have to pay for parking. Switching hotels in the middle of your trip is never really ideal, but sometimes you just have to be flexible when you're trying to pay with points for your entire stay. In total, we spent around $1,400 for these five nights in Oahu. 
Almost 300 of that was added on activities, which means that if you did not do those activities, you could probably get it closer to the $1,000 mark. From hiking to snorkeling to sightseeing, there's so much to do on the island for free or very little cost. We packed a majority of our own snacks and of course food for our picky younger child, but we did spend almost $500 on food and that is with getting extra treats daily, lunch and dinner because again, breakfast was covered by our hotel. Now I understand that using credit card points and miles is not for everybody, but this is how we were able to pay for our flights and our hotel. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments about how we made this trip possible as I am so happy to help. Now our time in Oahu is not yet over, but it is as far as the budget part goes. We have a little surprise um, that will be in our next video. So if you want to stick around to the end, we'll kind of lead up to what that surprise is. And yeah, we're super excited about it. The kids don't know. I um, think we're going home today. Do you even know what this place is? Jada, we're at the Alani Disney Resort. Why? Because we're not leaving today. We're leaving on Saturday. We're leaving on Saturday. <laughs>